Hey there, daily vlog. Um, starting the day off a little bit later. I'm gonna be uh, heading over to the DMV, hopefully get the uh, driver's license all completed. Since yesterday's line was crazy long. And uh, start establishing residency here in Texas. Talk to you soon. Okay, everybody. Um, so I wanted to do this quick uh, update. Ended up not getting able to get to the office. I was a little overly optimistic. Didn't realize the DMV was gonna send me down a crazy rabbit hole. So the one thing about Texas is they call it a Texas Public Safety Center. So I put in that in the Google Maps, took me to New Canary, which is like more like WIC, you know, women, infant, child, and also a courthouse. So got there, wrong place. So we went north even further. That place is closed indefinitely. So couldn't go there. And there was, we could either go 30 miles north or 25 miles west. So we opted for going west, got there, stood in line. And again, the lines, we, you know, I forget coming from a small community, there is no line really um, in, in, in Wisconsin. So this line's out, out, outside, it's probably like 16 people deep and there's a line inside as well. And so we wait for probably 30 minutes and then some, one of the employees comes out and says, okay, why are you here, what do you got? and making sure that people are ready to go. She tells us, you can't get driver's license, you gotta register your car. Now just note that in July of this year, now it's October, I just registered my car in Wisconsin, so the plates are ready to go for an entire year. And not only do we have to register it in Texas before we get a driver's license, we also have to get it in emissions. It's like, great, so now we're in Conroe, Texas, and so we end up going um, to a local, um, Quick care, I'll show you the video there, or the quick little pictures. Boop. So a nice place, good service. Got the oil change because it needed to be done anyway. Got the inspection. Half hour, 40 minutes later, finally we're going, decided to have some lunch, go to Arby's. And um, then I, then we, then we head down to, oh, so when you register your car, you can get the emissions basically kind of anywhere that they ha they offer it, a lot of oil change places, but you have to get your car registered in the county in which you are. Now there's multiple places in Harris County, which is basically almost all of Houston. So we drive back down now 45 minutes or so down to the um, registrations place. And so the registration and the courthouse is right next to the driver's license place. So we're standing in line, again, it's like 20 people deep. You get to like the front, I mean the first person and the employee goes, oh, what are you doing here? Um, <coughs> this is not the vehicle registration. This is for driver's license, you gotta go next door. Oh my gosh, so then wife got to go pick up the the, um, the second youngest from, from school. I decided to go wait in line, get all the stuff. We're able to, you know, driver's license, title of the car, um, registration form and um, basically 200 bucks to get two license plates. Now the car is officially Texas. The problem is, is that that DMV, when I get back to it to get the driver's license, excuse me, the Department of Public Safety, it is now, the, the line's almost tripled in size. It's going from the door all the way to the grass and it's 340. I can't even find a parking spot at this point and it closes at five. And I'm like, there's just no way. Um, the tip is that you can make an appointment. Um, so nonetheless, the car is registered. We do not have a driver's license. So this became basically the rabbit hole of the DMV starting at, we left at around 8.45, 9 o'clock, done at 4. It was just, in, well, I guess like 3.50, if we want to be exact on the time. Um, so the, the entire time I'm communicating with, with my boss just to let him know, okay, this is taking a lot longer. And he's like, welcome to the DMV hell. It's just a rabbit hole to another one. And um, so I'm sure everyone in Texas probably has the exact same uh, or very similar stories to this going there, not having the right documents, going back, going, you know, going there, trying to get there early and it just taking way too much time. Um, so tonight I'll go online, type it up get us an appointment for an appropriate time so that we can kind of be in and out to get the driver's license. And um, we, we, we want to be able to establish residency 
uh, one good for taxes because we don't have to pay 6.5, you know, 7% to the state tax, income tax in the state of Wisconsin because there's no state income tax here in Texas. And also, um, if we, if um, my wife's thinking of going to college, she'll want to have residency. So that way you can get in-state tuition instead of paying out-of-state, which would just be absolutely ridiculous. Um, so that became the day. Wanted to kind of just recap it for you. Um, luckily, I do have work email, so there was some time that I was able to ping stuff through, uh, stay communicated. And today was conference calls. So I was able to get on a couple of the conference calls today. Uh, but other than that, it was a very non-productive day. As I did pump gas, I did talk with someone uh, that might be open to a conversation. So I'll go head up to Cleveland, Texas, and see if there's an opportunity for uh, this entrepreneur um, who runs a business, if he's open to getting into our industry. And so for me, there, I'm constantly looking for um, me to be able to find people, uh, business relationships. There's really no, no off switch. Um, a lot of people, they like to leave their work at work. They like to more of an eight to five kind of scenario. Monday to Friday, I get it. That's their gig. For me, it's on my mind pretty constantly, not from a stress perspective, because I think for some people that, that is a stress when they first start out uh, running their own biz. For me, it's, um, it's a healthy mindset. And for me, because I'm a hundred percent extrovert, I love talking to people and knowing what's going on in the world. I did have a great conversation with my buddy Carrie Ann and uh, some of the great things that she's doing up there. And it's always exciting to get an update on um, as people continue to progress and people changing. Uh, Cheryl was able to get um, ambassador of the year through the Wausau Chamber, which was awesome. And she's moving to a, a different gig, which is cool. And then um, Carrie Ann's got some, some cool opportunities from a marketing perspective that can lead into some more things. So it's very exciting to see other people succeed. And so one thing that I will say that I'm a firm believer is that the rising tide raises all boats. So as other people, whether they're in my, in my industry or not, their successes lead to everyone's successes. So someone that does really well in the community means that other people can do really well in the community. It doesn't take away. Now, yes, there is competition. At the same time, I think there's a lot of abundance out there. There's a lot of opportunity. And a lot of times what you want is not what necessarily what I want. Um, <coughs> Somebody might say, I want, uh, you know, a Porsche 911. Another person says, no, I don't want that. I want a, you know, um, a Denali, um, you know, truck, you know. And, and so almost, sometimes they're, they're almost the exact same price if they're fully loaded. And, um, and so it's a matter of knowing exactly what you want and then going after it and allowing that if somebody gets there first, it's okay. They're still making more cars, um, and then I, I'm fighting a little bit of this cold, so it was nice to kind of take it easy today. I did the podcast while I was waiting in line uh, at the DMV, focused on personal development today, and more so making sure that we're not comparing ourselves to others and, going, and knowing what we want to do from a personal development perspective. Hope you're all doing well. Terms out.